Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel, RS Designs. I'm Rhonda, and today I'm going to be working with the Close to My Heart Dream Maker Collection. This collection has six double-sided 12 by 12 design papers, as well as the coordinating cardstock. And it also comes with this beautiful sticker sheet that includes these foil words and the designs. And I love the pastel colors. So I can't wait to use those. And it also comes with this die cut sheet. So I will punch out some of these die cuts so that you can see how delicate they are. And then of course I'm gonna use them on my design. It also comes with a stamp set. It has the words and then there's the flower outlines as well as what I call splatters. And it also has this really pretty word stamp that I want to use. You might remember earlier that I created some of these flowers using the flower outline and embossing powder. If you missed that video, I can link it down below. But I want to use some of these flowers on my layout. I'm using a inspiration layout from scrapbook.com. And I think in place of the stars, I'll put some of the flowers. So I'm working with my little granddaughter's sixth birthday photos. And I was able to take all three of my littles out to the college where I work and just snap some informal photos. And they had so much fun playing and running around. It was kind of hard to get them to let me take their picture. All right, so you can see that I kind of have it started here. I have an idea of what I want. So I'm gonna bring in my Versamat and I always put down a little bit of tape on my Versamat so that my base page doesn't move around while I'm trying to design. So I'm going to get that glued down or taped down. And I have this piece of the design paper that I've cut to a 4 by 12. And on the inspiration piece, it has it a little bit higher than what I want it because the paper is so pretty. I don't want to cover it up with all of my photos. So I think I might just move it up maybe one or two inches from the bottom of my paper. Now also included in this design collection is stencils. They come as a whole sheet, but I've cut them apart. So we've got the leaves and then the squares, some dashes, and also circles. I'm going to bring in my all-purpose mat and play around a little bit. One thing about the all-purpose mat is you can wipe off the ink and you don't have to worry about it staining your Versamat. So I brought in the circles and I want to practice a little bit here in the corner using White Daisy. I'm using Lagoon ink and one thing about the Close to My Heart stamp pads is they are magnetic. So this helps you keep from getting your lid lost when you are using your ink. All right, so I played around a little bit and let me show you what not to do. You can see that I got way too close to the edge and there's that hard line around the stencil. So you wanna be careful and not get too close to the edge of the stencil whenever you're starting to ink it up. Now, I do suggest that you start on the outer edge and work your way in. I started kind of in the middle of the stencil, and you can see where it's really heavy there in the middle. I think it'll work best to go from the outside in, but I do like that. I think it's very pretty. Again, start on the outer edge, work your way in. Uh, got a little bit heavy there with the squares. I'm using my stamp chamois to clean off my stencil so that the ink doesn't stain it. All right, you can see again, I started in the middle, but I'm learning. This is what not to do. You can follow along for what not to do got my uh, leaf 
stencil and I really love this one. Now what I tried to do this time since I kept going so heavy on the others was to pounce it off a little bit on my all-purpose mat and then I kind of pounced off a little bit too much but you can always go back and get more ink and make it a little bit darker. But I think these are so pretty and they're going to really add a lot of character to my design paper. All right, so I put a little bit of circles there in the bottom right hand corner and in order to balance everything out I'm going to bring in some to the top. Now you can see I learned my lesson because I'm starting on the outer edge and working my way in. And I don't want to get too heavy-handed with it because I don't want to cover up that beautiful leaf. So I'm just gently going in circles until I get the uh, look that I want. All right, I've showed you before how I ink up my edges. And I do this on most all of my layouts because I just like the way you can see the definition between the two design papers. It just kind of helps it pop out a little bit. And I really do love this paper here. Now this strip is two by 12 and I'm going to use that up and down on my layout as it was shown in the inspiration layout. So let me just finish getting these inked up and then we can get everything laid down, get it in place and then once I get my photos on it, I can start uh, taping everything down. So this is, I think, what I want to do. But then I decided, you know what? I think I want to use one more stencil. So I went back and I got the dash stencil. And you can see the flamingo. I just brought in real subtle there on the left and the right. We're right below the flowers. And then on the right-hand side, I did a little bit on top of that leaf. And it's not... A lot but I just think it brings a lot of character to this page here I have everything taped down and I pulled my die cuts and I chose two of the hearts and then uh, you'll see that I brought in a zip strip from one of the design papers and inked the edges as well as some of the flowers from that flower stamp. This is one of the die cuts and I'm going to cut it in half so I don't lose the part that's underneath that photo. I just felt like I needed the black in my triangle to bring everything together. The inspiration design that I'm using had faux stitching along each one of the design papers so I did go back and get my ruler and my marker and just do faux stitching along each one of the different design papers that I used. I also pulled from my stash some rhinestones in the pink and the purple to help bring out the colors in the kids' clothes. Let me bring it a little bit closer so you can see my bling and my hearts there and my beautiful stenciling in the corner. I just love it. Where you see the smile, that's just a tag punch that I used. Cut it out, put the smile from the sticker sheet on there, and slid it behind the photo. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back soon with another video.